Welcome back. Myself Papri Hazra, Assistant Professor, Putwakali Science and Technology University, Bangladesh. As we have discussed so far, there are two distinct types of energy based on regeneration availability, such as renewable energy and fossil fuels. Renewable energy is such source of energy that exists indefinitely and are not exhausted as a result of human activities. So, what about the non-renewable energy or fossil fuels and their production consumption status? In this video, we will talk about the global trends in energy use, particularly fossil fuels. Fossil fuels also refer as conventional or non-renewable energy. Fossil fuels are forms of organic carbon formed beneath the earth's surface due to excessive heat and pressure of the earth crust. These types of fuel originated from the ancient vegetation and other organisms and required millennia of time through the process of anaerobic decomposition. Around 70 to 80 percent of global energy comes from these types of non renewable energy sources. Globally, they all together provide power, heat, and transportation, as well as fueling the manufacturing process. Most available and easy to use fossil fuels are coal, oil, and natural gas. So, now I would like to talk about the global trends in fossil fuels. Let me first explain about coal. Coal is a black or brown sedimentary rock that usually found in the thin layers beneath the earth's surface known as coal beds or coal seams. Much of coal formed during the Carboniferous period almost around 300 to 360 million years ago. Coal can be mined via underground or subsurface mining process. Coal is the second largest fossil fuel in terms of its use. We can see from the figure left that the production and consumption scenarios are almost similar due the reference period of 1990 to 2019. Globally, approximately 3,976 million tons of oil equivalent coal was produced in 2019, which was about 59 million tons higher than the last year, that is 2018 and 1,724 million tons higher than 1990. However, the highest coal production was achieved in 2013 about 3,978 million tons. In case of consumption, approximately 2,220 million tons coal was consumed in 1990 and the amount was less than 2500 million tons up to 2002. After that, the consumption started to increase quickly. The highest amount of coal consumption was achieved in 2013, about 3867 million tons, which was more than one and a half a times higher than 1990. However, after 2013, the amount of coal consumption had started to decrease, but not so much. In 2019, total coal consumption amount was about 3,750 million tons, which was 170 million tons less than 2013, but 
1530 million tons higher than 1990. The right side figure presents the inconsistent annual growth rates of both production and consumption since 1990 to 2019. The highest annual growth of coal production was found in 2004, while the lowest in 2016. On the other hand, peak growth of consumption was observed in 2003 and lowest in 2009. Top 5 Coal Production Countries of 2019 were China, Indonesia, the United States, Australia, and India. These countries accounted for more than 80% of global coal production. Furthermore, China, India, and the United States were also found as top three coal consumer countries in that year. China has been contributing largest share in coal sector. In 2019, global coal production and consumption received almost 50% and 52% share respectively from China. Crude oil or petroleum mostly composed of carbon and hydrogen compounds, commonly known as hydrocarbons, crude oil formed beneath the earth's surface. Mass of oil formed during 252 to 66 million years ago, also known as the Mesozoic Age. Oil can be extracted using drilling and pumping methods surface mining methods, etc. We can see from the figure left that production and consumption trends are almost similar over the years like coal. The world has been observing an increasing trend in oil production since 1990. Approximately 3,147 million tons of oil were consumed in 1990. The amount has increased in 2019 and it was global peak oil consumption year. And the total oil consumption was about 4,445 million tons. The right set figure presents inconsistent annual growth rates of both oil production and consumption. Currently, downward trends are found in both cases. The current annual reduction rate of global oil production is about 0.3% only. If the current reduction rate continues, global oil output could be restored to 1990 levels by the end of the 21st century. Top 5 oil production countries of 2019 were the United States, the Russian Federation, Saudi Arabia, Canada, and Iraq. These countries accounted for more than 53% of global oil production. In terms of oil consumption, top five countries were the United States, China, India, Japan, Saudi Arabia, and they all together consumed about 47% of global oil. Natural gas is a gaseous mixture of hydrocarbons that occurs at standard temperature and atmospheric pressure. The principal constituent of natural gas is methane, a constituent of one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms. Natural gas also includes carbon dioxide, water vapor, nitrogen, hydrogen sulfide, etc and is formed over hundreds of millions years as layers of decomposing plant and animal matter and are subjected to extreme heat and pressure underneath the earth's surface. Natural gas production and use is a significant and increasing contributor to climate change. The fracking technique is used 
to remove natural gas from the deep wells. This technique involves injecting water, sand and chemicals into a deep well which causes fractures in the rock layer and allows natural gas to flow through the cracks and filling the well. The global natural gas production and consumption reached a historical peak of 3,439 million tons and 3,376 million tons respectively in 2019. Throughout the reference period, both production and consumption patterns have been steadily growing. In comparison to the previous years, production of natural gas increased by 3.4% approximately 114 million tons in 2019, while consumption increased by 2% about 67 million tons in this year. Besides the year 2010, was found as the year of maximum annual increase in both production and consumption rate of natural gas. The five world's largest natural gas producer countries of 2019 were the United States, the Russian Federation, Iran, Qatar, and China. These countries accounted for roughly 55% of global gas production. Among these top five countries, the United States overtook Russia as the world's largest natural gas producer in 2011 and has held the position until now. On the other hand, the top five gas consumer countries of 2019 were the United States, the Russian Federation, China, Iran, and Canada. They all together consumed about 50% of global natural gas. Evidently, the United States have remained the world's largest consumer during 1990 to 2019 with nearly constant annual consumption growth. So that's all for today. Thank you.